it to my favorite murder right now. Yes. Here we go. It's at the MGM. Let's see if we can get a little video. Where's the sign? What's right there? Boom. <laughs> We're now in the park theater. Oh, there's David. Yay! And we're just waiting with great anticipation. There's the stage. And if we can zoom in, it looks like they've got some waters and some microphones. When this, which I feel like when you start singing, but we didn't realize how far it's so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's way over there that entrance. I mean, we, Kara, there's a Pekingese in the front row. Oh, oh shit! Dude, that's your emotional support soil right there. <laughs> I mean, can we have it on stage for the show? <laughs> no. Oh my god, it's Just so for one cute. second. Sorry. Let the Pekingese have her time, or his. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing if she went to put the Pekingese up and the Pekingese got attacked by four security guards. <laughs> Dragged off <laughs> somewhere <laughs> where we never see her. Oh, or wow. Him again. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Wow, this is so Thank exciting. You. We love Vegas. You got it. strip show that you came here. That means the world to us. That's everything to us. So we're going to dance for you. To make up. You're welcome. That was it. Uh, can we just say, has anyone played Buffalo? Yeah. Best fucking game. Immediately lost $20 to it. Good. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. So now I Give back to the community here in Las Vegas. It all goes to the schools, I understand. <laughs> I did go, I gambled. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got a story for me? <laughs> okay. okay, so we came down, Lindsay and I. We ate, we got, we, we're gonna go to Italy, but it was overwhelming for me. <laughs> like, no, no. So we went to. Foreign countries are hard. <laughs> we went to the sports book, which I didn't know until I met. We were in Detroit. We did our show. We were being driven to a wonderful late night restaurant afterwards by a lovely man who worked at the theater. And then as we pulled up in front of the theater, I realized that I had left the clogs that I had been wearing, no matter what dress that I've been wearing on our tour since we started touring like two and a half years ago, the first night of touring, I put on my black dress and then I pulled on some clogs and my sister goes, you're not wearing those fucking shoes. And I'm like, oh yes I am. And then the, those are the shoes I've pretty much been wearing in every just other show. Just to piss your sister. Just, just so that she knows that I'm always thinking of her and trying to piss her off wherever she may be. Here tonight. Here tonight, actually. Right. No, they're like, no, we're not. Uh, yeah, no, they're just like it's what's it's the party for us. Yeah. What kind of party are we gonna have? We'll show up for it. Uh, it's Laura and of course, uh, as I like to call her, my sister's best friend Adrian, which I always say that full phrase. And there was somebody actually on Twitter one time that wrote to me and it just said, "We know who you're talking about when you say Adrian." <laughs> and it's just like. I'm sorry I forgot that I have one million best friends now. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Um, but, uh, oh, so I, once we got out of the car, the man was going to drive back to the theater in the snow at like midnight to get my old shitty clogs that, that are like spike clogs. I'm just wearing them to be mean to my sister. So I was like, sir, please don't go back to that theater tonight, no matter what you do. So I bailed on those and uh, we had to start afresh. This thing I got at the Gap, I don't know what they're doing over there. Normally, everything they sell is cut midriff and double wide. Um, like we're all in flash dance now. So I barely go there anymore, but I saw this through the window. I was like, the gap is sporting a black dress that I think I might be able to pull off. So I got so, it. I got it.
What's up, see you next. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Well, we're trying to do that look. Did you read recently that Stevie Nicks keeps over a thousand shawls in a temperature-controlled vault? No. It's true. That's ridiculous. It was in the paper. Unless there's a nacho bar in there, I don't want to find it. <laughs> Here about it. Dragging shawls through that nacho cheese. Where'd you get your dress? Oh, I got this on Etsy. It's fucking vintage as shit. Totally broken, though. Karen had to... Oh, yeah. Hit me up with that. We're, we're backstage, downstairs, down tunnels, <laughs> underneath refrigerators, like you wouldn't believe. So we're like, does anyone have a safety pin? And then it's like echo, 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 there's just no one around. So I, I, and Georgia asked me probably 30 minutes before, and I was like, no. And then I was like, wait a second, when we were in Toronto, um, I met someone in the VIP line who handed me, let me show you, this pin, you know we can see it, but it's a little crown. <laughs> And oh no, uh, the person who gave it to me also, it was in a little bag with a picture, and that pin she got somehow off of the uniform that the police chief on the PBS show Endeavor wears. It's, so she included a picture of his of him standing there, and then like an arrow pointing to this pin. I don't know that. That's so special. She, I think, stole from the set of Endeavor. Isn't that Right. And this dress also has, I'm going to point out, one of those, it like tricks you and you dip it in the toilet on accident. <laughs> <laughs> it almost got me right before. Right. I was like, oh, no, no, don't get there. It's yourself. Luck can tricky as shit. How many vintage old la like ladies in the 50s have, were at a party with their fucking cheating husband? <laughs> <laughs> dip their fucking they just don't talk about it. Dip their sash in the toilet. Oh I feel like yeah, that's gonna suck. I wish we could do familial DNA on this dress because I feel like we could trace it back to an old lady that was here at like the Sands in, in 1958 yeah. in this dress. Don't you think? Yeah. Is that the idea? With the same size waist, but, uh, waist, but she had enormous breasts, as you can tell by the right. <laughs> it was like double time. Just spin it back. Yeah. I think good for her. Right? <laughs> yeah. Wish her well. <laughs> God bless her and all of us tonight. Mm -hmm. um, Steven? No, there's no Steven here. Sorry. Oh. You know, he's been banned Sorry. from Vegas for five years. Yes. You didn't hear what he did at New York, New York. Oh my God. Oh. You guys think oh he's so God. innocent. He's not. Fuck, man. That, if that mustache could talk, <laughs> it would have some fucking stories. Oh, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> What if the mustache starts talking and then Steven's talking under the mustache trying to defend? <laughs> oh, by the way, this is the podcast. Oh, yeah, my favorite <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Do they like each other? Uh, yes, Georgia. They really like each other. And <laughs> since the summer of 1971, <laughs> they met in college. Okay. It would be amazing if I was reading off a suddenly a an emergency teleprompter comes up. <laughs> You've gone into this area and start reading this yeah. now. They're in love. They love each other. <laughs> Calm down. Love is real. <laughs> Divorce isn't an option. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, should we sit down? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I went too crazy at that nacho bar. The dress doesn't fit. Okay, so this is the Tahoe Excuse house. Excuse me, where's your diet nacho? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is how I couldn't find I'm so sorry, and it's probably because of the story you told. I thought you said it was called the Taco House. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Taco House? Yeah. Do they have a bell? 